All right, welcome to monthly news number 21. Uh, last month we set up the whole workspace with a bunch of people, and this month we are with a few more. So we have product designers, we got engineers, we have web developers, helpers, business guy, and a fun guy. So this month we've been busy preparing for the Dutch Design Week, but also running our project for version 4. And this monthly news is going to be a bit different because uh, we have a little team that wants to take over. So these ones are going to edit the new mo monthly news. Very unexperienced, first time they're doing it, so I hope it's going to be okay. <laughs> but they're quite excited about it, so it should be good. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, my name is Luis and I'm going to show you every month from now on an interesting project from the version 4 teams. This month we're going to show you Nate and his extrusion machine. Hi Nate, Hi, what's how's up? It it's good, it's good. We're working on making this bigger and better and we've already sort of developed a semi-industrial prototype. We're going to develop this by putting a larger motor on and still working with beam molds. We want to try to get some continuous extrusion going on. We can make really, really nice things. We know this already. So the hopeful goal, we have a cooling water system that we can continuously extrude beams out of and just kind of cut them off as they come out. Um, but we're also having issues doing larger fills, so we're getting things that are kind of hollow. Uh, we don't have enough uh, material output to fill things completely before they cool, so hopefully a uh, faster, larger motor will solve some of that for us. Um, but if you guys come over here, some successes that we have had are, like we said, our beams before, and just learning a little bit more about working with the material and building things. Uh, we get things that are really smooth, we start filling and cooling with water, we get some interesting texturing going on. So there's some interesting developments there, but we still need a lot of work. Um. So thank you, Nate. It sounds very interesting. Uh, guys, if you have any suggestions or tips, uh, down here is the forum link to his project. Um, now Charlotte is going to tell you a little bit about the uh, Dutch Design Week, and I'm going to see you next month. Hello, I'm Charlotte, and I'm going to be talking to you about Dutch Design Week. So for the past couple of weeks, we've been really busy getting ready. We've been building, painting, cooking. And this year, we opened the doors and welcomed people from all over the world to come see us working in our brand new workspace. We had five guides from the team that wore bright orange boiler suits and were there to answer people's questions and guide them through the exhibition. We also held an event on the Saturday evening where we had free beer and delicious food cooked by our vegan chefs. We had people from all over the world come visit us, even this guy. And our friends Tala and Sverica ran a workshop throughout the week where people could make sunglasses from recycled plastic. We even had a live extrusion demonstration from Precious Plastic Ukraine. Thanks for that, Jivan. Bricknick also provided an alternative lunch where we, where we put veggies into a ceramic brick and sat them up over an open fire. But this year's Dutch Design Week was just the beginning of version 4 and next year people can come and visit and see what we've developed, achieved and discovered over the past year. It was a busy week but we're back to normal now. Yoga sessions, jam sessions and playing Tony Hawk on PS2. And now Vicente is going to talk to you about some other stuff. Hey, yo. Hello everybody, I'm Vicente. It's true that we have been working a lot in the workspace, but we also get uh, outside of it. So yeah, at the beginning of the month, uh, 50,000 people went to Germany uh, to visit the Hambach Forest. They went there to celebrate the suspension of tearing down the 12,000 year old forest, which sits on top of the coal mine. During the past decade, people have been occupying the place and defending it against the deforestation. And thanks to the persistence, they managed to accomplish the goal. We joined the celebration and spent a sunny day with thousands of other passionate people. Everybody was happy and playing instruments and having fun.
It was super powerful to see that even though the coal mine has huge machines, people have the power to stop them and uh, as long as they stay persistent. And now Paul from Kentucky is going to introduce the next topic. Hey. This month we finally released our video about setting up the precious plastic Kenya workspace. And two of the Kenya Workspace members, Manduku and Alicia, came to Eindhoven to help develop version 4. It's been a busy month. We've gone from 15 to almost 40 volunteers. And the farmers and bakers all around Eindhoven are helping keep our bellies full with the tastiest food. That's it for this month. Thank you to all of our supporters. Uh, we'll see you guys next month. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, it was our first time doing it, so be nice. <laughs> if you have any recommendations how we can do it better next time, please let us know. Um, and yeah, make sure to um, leave in the comments what do you want to see in the next one. Thank so you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.